The head of Scotland Yard today described seeing the murder of PC Keith Palmer and how he fled because no one in his vehicle had protective equipment. Sir Craig Mackey, who was then acting as commissioner of the Met, told the inquest into the killing of Kali Massoud that he saw his officer stabbed in front of him. Sir Craig described hearing a loud bang as Massoud's 4x4 smashed into the fence under Big Ben and then saw the terrorist sprint through security gates before stabbing PC Palmer. Sir Craig said he went to get out of the car, which was passing through the vehicle barrier just inside the gates, but was told, shut the door. PC Palmer staggered past Sir Craig's car, pursued by Massoud, who was then shot dead by a close protection officer. Share this article share 350 shares Sir Craig said, I had no personal protective equipment, no radio, two colleagues with me who were quite traumatized by what they had seen, so we moved out and I began coordinating the response you saw. My instinct was not the right response. I was in shirt sleeves, with no radio, I didn't know if the attack was ongoing. Hugo Keith QC, for the Metropolitan Police said, It may seem obvious that had you not locked the car and had you got out would have presented yourself as a further target. He replied, Yes, anyone who got in his way would have been a target. Describing the attack, Sir Craig said, I could see one of the officers move forwards, PC Palmer, then he appeared to go backwards, and then I saw the male who had come in, and I saw two stab attempts into the torso of PC Palmer. It was below my sight line so couldn't tell if they connected, but they were two absolutely determined stab movements. It seemed to happen very quickly. The thing that still shakes me is however many seconds it was in total. It didn't feel like that, it felt like an awfully long time. Daddy had one of those looks that they were coming after you, he seemed absolutely focused on coming and getting anyone who got in his way. I was absolutely concerned for any individual that got in his way. Mr. Mackey had been at a meeting with Brandon Lewis, the policing minister, between 2. A 15 p.m. and 2.45 p.m., but they had arrived and left early. He was due to return to Scotland Yard, around the corner on the embankment, driven by a police driver and accompanied by his chief of staff. Sir Craig said, I was leaning back to talk to my colleague in the rear of the car to talk about the meeting, and there was a very, very loud bang which came from the direction of Westminster Tube and we both went, what on earth was that? I looked towards the gate and I could see officers looking in the direction and my recollection is one officer talking on the radio. I genuinely didn't know what had happened. It was an unnatural sound. I did think it might have been an explosion at that point, it was so loud and unnatural. The officers were in their usual position just inside the gate line. Everyone started moving on the pavement, everybody is running towards the House of Lords and some are running into the gates. The gates were open and people were coming in and all of a sudden I became aware of a large male and thought, oh my god he's got a knife. He described the man as six feet tall, very thick set, with a shaved head and wearing dark clothing. He was eight feet to ten feet into the gates. My focus was very much what I saw in his right hand, it was a butcher's knife like you get in a wooden block, a carving knife. I didn't know at that point if it was connected to the bang or not. Clearly the way that male came in and the purposeful way he came in that was a clear threat. I had an officer in the front of the car with me and a colleague in the car had seen what happened and locked the door. We had no protective equipment at all, no communications, we had been in a ministerial meeting 